So if you want to get to leash walking like this, to this in just a few minutes, I'll show you how in a few different methods. As you can see, she's just trying to smell and everything. Happy? Yes. And right now she's on a flat collar. And as you can see, she loves working with treats. So I'm going to show you how to teach your dog to walk on leash with only positive training. So this you need treats and a flat collar. So if you are only using positive reinforcement, you would say like happy heel. Yes. And you would reward her for walking next to you. And you just continuously do that. Ah, yes. Good. And if she ended up pulling or losing interest, then you could just turn around. Good. What I mean by just turn around, so if she's not, if the dog's not looking at you or anything like that, then you'll turn around, say heel, and try to lure them back and with the leash back towards you. And once they pay, repay attention to you, then you uh, use a mark like yes, and you reward them with treats like that. So now I'm going to show you how to teach your dog to walk on leash with a slip lead. So this is going to be more of a balance training method, most people call it. So first of all, you need a slip lead. You could have treats. It's optional, but it's recommended. And to put the slip lead, make sure it's right behind the dog's ears for better control. Minus 20 here. Happy? Yes. And to teach them the walk on leash, you could say like heel, and you turn around, you do sharp turns, and if she doesn't follow, then it's a little pop. All right, so I'm gonna go. Okay, she's following me. She gives me eye contact, then I could reward her. And you stop. Once you stop, you wait for your dog to give you eye contact. And once they do, you could reward them and continue walking. So Happy is a Belgian Turbine. She's five years old and that's the dog I'm working with at the moment. Uh, she's very reactive towards people, bikes, dogs. But her reactivity stems because she doesn't have any jobs. So she found herself one, which is to bark at other people, dogs and everything like that. So this leash walking will actually teach her to have a job and help her with her reactivity. So this is exactly what I'd be doing on a walk. If the dog walked in front of me or got distracted for some reason, I'd do a sharp turn. And if I'm using my slip lead, which I would be, I would, if they didn't follow me, I would correct them. And if it was positive only, then I would lure them back, try to call their name and get their attention. Now I'm turning um, the slip lead into a healthy. So you just extend the part around her neck, make a flip it, twist it so that it makes another loop and you put that loop around their nose. And it applies pressure around their neck instead of on their nose, which I find is a lot better than like a gentle leader because if they pull in stuff, I find it's really rough on their neck. So uh, with Balance method, since Happy's reactive, if she starts barking at dogs or something, then I could hold her accountable by correcting her and teaching her commands and reinforcing them with a correction. If, of course, she um, doesn't comply. And then with positive only, because of her reactiveness, what, would I, what I would do as a positive only trainer, I'd give her more distance, more space, and try to get her attention with maybe higher value treats and just slowly go closer to her stimulus, which is really hard to do in real life. So you'd have to set it up and stuff. But eventually over time, if you kept doing it, they would for sure slow down the reactivity with both different training methods. So that's my first video. Um, I hope it wasn't too boring and I know it's pretty bad I don't really have a camera person with me or anything. So I was trying to use a tripod and 
trying to have the most amount of space like you, you could see. Yeah. It was really cold outside, so um, it was really easy to lose track of your thoughts and everything. And it was hard to speak because my like my face was frozen and everything. Cold uh, Next time, I'll try to make the video more engaging. I might remake this video eventually in the future, but I hope this helps someone, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Bye.